President Adesina, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to join the leaders of the African Development Bank and its member states to reflect on what green growth means for our continent. An imperative for economic growth is a healthy and a productive population. Timely vaccination is a matter of global security, medical emergency and economic necessity. Yet, Africa accounts for under 1% of the doses administered globally. Equitable access, accelerated rollout and boosting local manufacture is going to be critical. We undertake this discussion at a time when the COVID-19 pandemic has precipitated the first recession in Africa in 25 years. As with climate change, through no fault of its own, Africa bears the brunt of the socioeconomic impact of COVID-19. The pandemic has exacerbated the number of people already living in poverty on the continent from 126 million over the last decade. Pandemic recovery must address these alarming deficits and trends. First, we need an inclusive recovery. It must create new and decent jobs and real opportunities for all, including the more than 600 million Africans who remain energy insecure and so leaving no one behind. Second, the recovery is an opportunity to build greater resilience and adapt to the growing impacts of climate change. Africa already spends about 5% of its GDP, or $335 billion annually, to respond to climate disasters. African countries can leverage the recovery to invest in climate resilient infrastructure and cities, in nature-based solutions, in land restoration, and in sustainable agriculture. This will secure significant additional financial flows from the international system. These investments will yield economic dividends several times over, but they will first and foremost protect people and livelihoods. I welcome in this regard the strong relationship of the African Development Bank, the leadership of President Adeshina, and the Global Center for Adaptation for the launch of the Africa Adaptation Acceleration Program. Third, the recovery must accelerate the just transition away from coal and contribute to building cleaner and healthier economies. Outdoor air pollution alone kills 600,000 Africans every year more than childhood malnutrition or contaminated water. Yet Africa has abundant and untapped renewable resources which can power its economic development, create jobs and improve energy access while avoiding harmful emissions. Excellencies, a green, resilient and inclusive recovery will entail a deep transformation of African economies and significant investments in key sectors such as energy, food security and nature-based solutions. These investments need to start now. But many African governments remain in urgent need of financial support, investments and debt relief. African ministers have called for an injection of external assistance of $100 billion each year to close the financing gap to 2023. By investing in Africa, we are priming the whole world for a more inclusive recovery. True resilience cannot be built in silos and Africa's green growth opportunity is also the world's opportunity to build forward better. Thank you.